ever wondered which are the largest diamonds in the world? Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore the intriguing stories of two precious stones that have captivated imaginations for centuries, the Koh-i-Noor and the Darya i noor diamonds. These extraordinary gems, whose names translate to Mountain of Light and Sea of Light in Persian respectively, are among the world's largest diamonds. The Koh-i-Noor, a dazzling spectacle, is renowned for its size and storied history, having graced the hands of numerous rulers and conquerors. The Darya e Noor, on the other hand, is celebrated for its distinctive pale pink hue and its own illustrious past. Both diamonds have their origins traced back to the same place, the Golconda Mines in India. These two gems, steeped in history and mystery, continue to captivate us with their timeless beauty and the tales they tell of power, conquest and craftsmanship. Stay tuned as we delve deep into the intriguing history of these two precious stones. The birthplace of these magnificent diamonds is none other than the majestic mines of Golconda in India. The Golconda mines are legendary for their production of diamonds of exceptional quality and it's here that our story begins. The Koh-i-Noor, meaning Mountain of Light in Persian, is one of the largest diamonds in the world. Its origin story is steeped in the history of the Kakatiya dynasty in South India, where the earliest references to the diamond date back to the 14th century. From there, the diamond traveled through the hands of various rulers, from the Delhi Sultanate to the Mughal Empire. In the 18th century, the Koh-i-Noor was seized by Persian ruler Nadir Shah during the conquest of Delhi. The diamond's journey didn't stop there though. It continued to change hands until it found its way to the British East India Company in the mid-19th century. Today, the koh i -Noor is set majestically in the Queen Mother's Crown, part of the British Crown Jewels on display in the Tower of London. The Darya i Noor, translating to Sea of Light, shares a similar origin story. This diamond, known for its rare pale pink hue, is also believed to have been extracted from the Golconda mines. It too was seized by Nader Shah during his conquest of Delhi in 1739. However, unlike the koh i -Noor, the Darya i -Noor remained in Persian hands and is now thought to be a part of the Iranian crown jewels. The craftsmen who shaped these diamonds remain unknown, their identities lost to the sands of time. Over the centuries, the art of diamond cutting has evolved and the precise details of how these diamonds were crafted may forever remain a mystery. From the heart of India, these diamonds embarked on a journey that would span continents. Their stories intertwine with the histories of empires, the rise and fall of rulers, and the evolution of craftsmanship. They are more than just jewels, they are living, sparkling pieces of history. The paths of Koh i Noor and Darya i Noor were as twisted and complex as the facets of the diamonds themselves. The Koh i Noor, the mountain of light, embarked on its journey during the reign of the Kakatiya dynasty in the 14th century. As centuries rolled by, the diamond found itself in the hands of various rulers, from the Delhi Sultanate to the Mughal Empire, each leaving their mark on the diamond's tail. The year 1739 marked a pivotal point in its journey when Persian ruler Nadir Shah, captivated by its brilliance, took possession of it following his conquest of Delhi. The diamond continued its journey, changing hands until the mid-19th century, when the British East India Company claimed it after the Anglo-Sikh Wars. In 1850, the koh i -Noor, now a British treasure, was presented to Queen Victoria. To enhance its brilliance, it was recut and set in the front of the Queen Mother's Crown, where it sparkles to this day in the Tower of London. On a parallel path, the Darya i Noor, the Sea of Light, followed a similar route, Originating from the same Golconda mines, it too passed through the hands of Indian rulers before being claimed by Nadir Shah in 1739. Unlike its counterpart, the Darya i Noor remained in Persia, a treasured possession of Persian rulers. Its current location is believed to be with the Iranian crown jewels, its pale pink light adding to their mystique. Yet, due to security reasons, the exact whereabouts and details about its current setting remain undisclosed. The journey of these two magnificent diamonds is not just about the change of hands. It's a journey through time, through history, through conquests and defeats. Each ruler, each conqueror who held these diamonds added a new chapter to their story. Their journey reflects the tumultuous history of the regions they passed through. A history that is as brilliant and as complex as the diamonds themselves. 
Today, these diamonds rest in two different parts of the world. The Koh Inor and Darya Inor, both with histories as rich as their brilliance, are now housed far apart from their shared origins in the Golconda mines of India. The Koh Inor, meaning Mountain of Light, sparkles from the heart of the Queen Mother's crown, a key piece of the British crown jewels. This priceless gem has been the centerpiece of British royal regalia since it was presented to Queen Victoria in the mid 19th century. It was recut under her reign to enhance its brilliance, a decision that saw the diamond lose almost half its weight but gain much in the way of fire and scintillation. Today, this famed diamond is on public display in the Tower of London. Its dazzling beauty continues to attract visitors from around the globe, a testament to its enduring allure. On the other hand, the Darya e Noor, translating to the Sea of Light, remains shrouded in an aura of mystery. This large pale pink diamond is believed to be part of the Iranian crown jewels. Unlike its counterpart, the Koh e Noor, the Darya e Noor's exact whereabouts and details about its current setting are not publicly disclosed. This lack of information adds to its enigmatic charm and appeal, making it one of the most intriguing diamonds in the world. The significance of these diamonds extends beyond their size and beauty. They are symbols of power, conquest and history, having passed through the hands of various rulers and conquerors across centuries. Each change of possession marked a turning point in their journey and by extension, a pivotal moment in the history of the nations they have come to represent. While we can marvel at the Koh Noor in the Tower of London, the Darya e Noor remains a mystery hidden away in the Iranian crown jewels. Their stories echo through the ages, reminding us of the immense power and allure that these mountains and seas of light have held over humanity for centuries. Ever wondered about the hands that shape these magnificent stones? The craftsmanship behind the Koh Noor and the Darya e Noor is a tale of uncelebrated heroes. The gem cutters who transformed these rough stones into the sparkling marvels they are today. The art of diamond cutting was not always as precise or sophisticated as it is now. In the early days, diamonds were often cleaved or cut by hand using other diamonds, the only material hard enough to scratch their surface. This was a painstaking process requiring incredible skill and a steady hand. The slightest mistake could cause the diamond to shatter, wasting the precious gem. As time progressed, so did the techniques used in diamond cutting. The introduction of the bruting machine in the late 19th century allowed for more precise cuts and the creation of more complex shapes. Following this, the modern round brilliant cut, with its 58 facets designed to maximize light reflection within the diamond, became the standard. Despite these advancements, the true masters of this craft were the unknown craftsmen who worked on the Koh Noor and the Darya e Noor. The Koh e Noor was recut in 1852 to enhance its brilliance, a task that took a staggering 38 days and was carried out under the watchful eye of Prince Albert. The Darya e Noor, with its rare pale pink hue, remains one of the largest diamonds in the world, its cut reflecting the techniques of the time it was shaped. These diamonds are not just remarkable for their size or their history, but for the skill and artistry that went into their creation. Each cut, each facet, is a testament to the craftsmanship of these unsung heroes, their work still dazzling us centuries later. The true artisans behind these diamonds remain a mystery, their names lost in the sands of time. Assigning a value to these diamonds is no easy task. Their worth extends far beyond their size and brilliance. The Koh e Noor and Darya e Noor are not just chunks of crystallized carbon, they are emblematic of the rich tapestry of human history. They've been a part of coronations, wars and treaties, bearing silent witness to the rise and fall of empires. Their cultural significance is immense. For many, they symbolize the wealth and power of the nations that possessed them. For others, they are reminders of colonial exploitation. Regardless, their allure transcends borders and cultures. These diamonds are also significant for the mystery that surrounds them. Despite centuries of scrutiny, there's so much we don't know about them. Who were the craftsmen who cut them? What was their original size? Where exactly are they now? These unanswered questions add to their intrigue. These diamonds, priceless and steeped in history, continue to captivate us with their beauty and their stories. Before we wrap up our dazzling journey, we'd like to invite you to become an integral part of this exploration. 
What are your thoughts on these magnificent diamonds? Do you see them as symbols of wealth, power or perhaps reflections of our shared history? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Moreover, your ideas and insights are the gems that drive our content. If there's a particular diamond, gemstone or any other facet of history you'd like us to delve into, let us know. We're all ears for your suggestions. Remember, this channel thrives because of viewers like you. So if you enjoyed this journey, show us some love by hitting the like button. Not only does it motivate us, but it also helps us reach more diamond enthusiasts like yourself. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We have a treasure trove of stories waiting for you and we wouldn't want you to miss out on any of them. We upload daily, so there's always something new for you to discover. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Stay curious, keep exploring and until next time, keep shining bright like a diamond.